Big news coming from India. The Indian government has announced a new lineup as part of India AI Phase 2. Now, India has gone from 4 to 12 foundation model teams. Sources told AIM that 8 new firms are set to join the mission's flagship foundation model initiative. Union IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav has repeatedly stated that the objective is clear. Each selected team must aim to be among the global top five in its chosen field, whether that is multilingual large language models, speech AI, or multimodal applications. Among the most closely watched entrants is Bharat Jain, funded by the DST and led by Professor Ganesh Ramakrishnan of IIT Bombay with collaborators from IIT Kanpur, IIT Mandi, IIT Madras, IIT Hyderabad, IIIT Hyderabad and IIM Indore. In May 2025, Bharat Jain launched Param 1, a 2.9 billion parameter bilingual LLM built entirely from scratch. Crucially, 25% of its training corpus is Indic data, orders of magnitude higher than Meta's Lama, which contains just 0.01% Indic content. The consortium has also released 20 speech models across 19 Indian languages on its AI Kosh platform, explicitly targeting voice-first interfaces for India's multilingual population. Ramakrishnan earlier told AIM that the announcement of our models has already come from the DST secretary, end quote, signaling that Bharat Jain is now ready for full-scale deployment. Fractal, the Mumbai-based AI powerhouse, is also entering phase two with very serious momentum. Its open source LLM, Fathom R1, Dash 114B delivers mathematical reasoning performance approaching OpenAI's O4 Mini and does so at a post training cost of just $499. Fractal plans an IPO later this year using the public markets to fuel expansion and further model development. This combination of open source innovation and capital market ambition positions Fractal as one of India's most globally competitive AI players. Tech Mahindra's selection underscores how India's IT majors are moving from services to core AI research and, products, uh, and productization, while startups such as Avatar.ai, Zentik.ai, Genloop, IntelliHealth and Shodh AI represent a new generation of specialized builders from multimodal interfaces to health AI platforms, giving phase two both scale and diversity. Model ambitions are meaningless without compute and India AI's compute pillar is being scaled just as aggressively. In May 2025, the government disclosed a 34,000 GPU national capacity sourced from a mix of public and private players. Leading the charge is Yota Data Services, which has ordered 8,000 NVIDIA Blackwell B200 GPUs, a $1.5 billion investment, according to CEO Sunil Gupta in an exclusive AIM interview. Gupta confirmed these systems will be operational by December, January, effectively doubling Yota's existing fleet of 8,000 H100s. Already, this infrastructure is powering India's most ambitious LLM projects. Sarvam AI 
runs on 4096 GPUs, backed by petabytes of high-speed parallel and object storage, all on a dedicated NVIDIA DGX Cloud Lepton layer. Socket AI recently secured 1,536 GPUs for dataset building and initial model training. To lower barriers for enterprises and startups, Yotta has built an API-based platform as a service layer, allowing teams to train and deploy models without owning hardware. Phase 2 marks a strategic inflection point. India is no longer content to be a passive consumer of global AI models. By funding Indic First Foundation models guaranteeing domestic compute capacity and demanding global class performance, the India AI mission is laying the groundwork for technological sovereignty. If these 12 teams succeed, India will not just participate in the next wave of AI, it will help define it. Thank you.